Well, we, we definitely got a little refrigerant flow going on here. And why does that seem like there's a restriction? Oh yes, son of a bitch, I forgot about that. This is what I hate about that. This is the type that has the depressor and there's a Schrader core right there. The Schrader valve is still inside. They did not remove the Schrader valve. So that basically became an orifice tube or a uh, piston, you know, like an expansion valve. That is your expansion valve. And I'm getting flash gas coming through my system and freezing up, slowing down my recovery. Thanks, guy. Jesus Christ. So, yeah, you're the other side now. And you see I have the heater going on there so it doesn't freeze up and slow down my uh, recovery. My son went downstairs and turned on the air handler because inside the room it's about 85 degrees. So I'm blowing hot air over the evaporator coil. So while I do my pull down, it'll speed up the job of my pull down. It's only uh, 54 or 56 degrees out here right now. So me blowing air over this well, it's micro channel coil anyway, so it doesn't hold much refrigerant. And um, so I don't have to worry about. So what you would normally do when you're doing a recovery, if your compressor is bad, bypass your fan on a hot day and turn your fan on. So if it's 80 or 90 degrees out and you're doing a job, you're, you're sucking in 80 or 90 degree air over the coils, heating up the refrigerant, and that will help speed up your recovery. All right, I'll get back to you guys, get to the next step.